I'm Mother Mary Francis, and when I'm not here at Trinity Church in Asbury Park, New Jersey, it usually means I'm off somewhere working at my day job, which is being the national correspondent for the Episcopal News Service. I'd like to say hi to all the good folks at Trinity and Asbury Park and say God bless you. I'm pleased, honored, humbled to be your bishop and I want to thank you for your prayers, but more so for your faith and your witness to Jesus Christ together. I love Trinity Parish and I love your rector and all of you as you continue in the mission that we've been given by God. And I hope you can see God's hand in the work of this convention. I know sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's painful, but today it's a joy to greet you and to say I think we're getting there by the grace of God, walking in the light of God. We had an opportunity to vote to uh, demonstrate that we are going to let God be in charge of our discernment process. We're going to welcome all people to listen together with the church for the calling of God. Some are called to ordain ministries, some are called to other ministries, but we have put Christ right at the center of things and have said that we are open, vulnerable, excited, uh, willing to walk with all sorts of people. It's not a right, but it's an opportunity that each of us is invited to share in the fellowship of the church. I feel very positive about that. I feel like it's a, a, a graceful description of our church at its best and our commitment to walk with the Anglican Communion but listen to God working through our own church by our canons and by our own processes of determining uh, how and when uh, people receive the gift of ordained leadership in our church. I felt no fear today. I think that's because a lot of people are praying and I want us to be without fear as we listen for Christ, continue to walk in the company of each other for Christ's sake, together. Thank you for your prayers. Keep them up, please. God bless you all. Bye-bye.